G'day everyone! Multiple scientific studies are now showing that races are different from each other, not just by the colour of their skin, but fundamentally different at a genetic level. Now I know that's an immensely loaded statement, even the word race means different things to different people, so let's unpack this a bit. Advances in genetic technology mean that we can now study DNA with super high accuracy and explore differences in the genetic code between different groups of people. We're just now starting to appreciate how, for example, white European Americans differ from African Americans, not just by the colour of their skin, but also in their genes for muscle composition and their predisposition to certain disorders and diseases. Studying the genetic differences between races can be super helpful in testing, diagnosing and treating disease and can save lives. So one example of this, there's genetic evidence that white Americans are more likely than African Americans to develop multiple sclerosis. Conversely, African American men are more likely to carry the genes predisposing them to prostate cancer. But again, don't believe me, please read the studies, we've linked them all below. Now some well-meaning people keep trying to argue that we're all the same, race is just a social construct. These people are very hesitant to open the door to conversations about how race racial differences exist on a genetic level, and there's a good reason for their hesitancy. There's a long history of bogus science being used to advance racism. So on one hand, you've got science showing us that we're all different, and on the other hand, you've got us social justice warriors telling us that we're all the same. I myself am a social justice warrior, but I'm also a scientist, and insisting that we're all the same is a problem for me for two reasons. One, more and more research is coming out showing genetic differences between people groups. So the position that we're all the same just makes you look like a science denier. And two, denying racial differences means that we're ignoring potential opportunities to save lives from disease. So I am an advocate for genetic studies of racial differences, but I'm also super worried about how these genetic studies are going to be used that they'll be misused as scientific proof to justify racism, and it's already happened. For example, Henry Harpending, who was an anthropologist at the University of Utah, he asserted that people from sub-Saharan African ancestry have a genetic tendency to be lazy, since they didn't go through the same natural selection for hard work that some Eurasians did. The thing is, he's making a genetic argument even though one, he's not a geneticist, and two, there is no genetic or even scientific evidence to support his ideas. Or James Watson, the guy who famously discovered slash stole the structure of DNA, he suggested Africans had a lower intelligence than Europeans because genetics. Again, there's absolutely no scientific basis for this view, which is why he was forced to retire as head of, the New, of New York's Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory in 2007. Now, scientists often say science isn't political and that they should be able to just publish a study about genetic racial differences, just, just report the facts, and then have absolutely no responsibility for how that study is used. But when scientists don't speak up to clarify their information, it's really easy for people like James Watson, for people like Henry Harpenting, to fill that silence with their own harmful and frankly racist ideas. If we as the scientific community think our job is just to lay out the facts, then we shouldn't be surprised when the facts are misused, or when fake science gets published as fact, or when the public starts to mistrust and defund science. This is why it's super urgent for the community, not just the science community, but everyone, to start to develop an ethical way for discussing and understanding any differences at a genetic level in context, instead of just sticking our head in the sand and then being surprised when science is used to support racism. So what do you guys think? Do you support the idea that different races are actually different at a genetic level, or do you think there's a way that we can overcome racism when we're talking about these genetic studies? I would love your thoughts in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.